allow us to develop the young athletes in our communities. We wish you the best of luck in your retirement years. Coach Mark Gordon. Matt Wink will be retiring from coaching Varsity Girls Basketball after 25 years of coaching. Coach Wink has been part of the Dragon family for over 20 years. Big news is uh, 20 years, you know, walking away. Uh, what was that? What were those final seconds like? Especially when you called, you know, kind of put the seniors on the sideline with you. These are girls you've been with for four years. I mean, what was that like? Oh, it's, I mean, it's emotional, I guess. And uh, you think back to all the when we first started and when I was with Coach Jenkins as an assistant and, uh, with the boys, and then uh, it was a great five years. I learned a lot. Uh, had a lot of great great young men on, on those teams and then uh, 15 years ago we took the girls over and uh, it's been a, uh, a great 15 years and a lot of fun and a lot of, a lot of good memories and you know we've had a lot of great teams and uh, most importantly a lot of great young ladies who came through no matter what their what our record was those years it was always a pretty pretty tight-knit group and uh, I've been fortunate to have uh, the type of people on those teams. They were, you know, for the most part, they're all great, great people, and they're doing things with their lives now, and, and that's what's important. Absolutely, and Claire, uh, you know, it's been your your dad, your coach for the last four years. What was that like on the sideline as those final seconds ticked away? It was really emotional. I mean, just knowing like it's our like last time together. I think it's really special, and just knowing how much he's ever he's put in over the last twenty years, and how much ever we. Myself, so it felt really good. And what do you guys think? Same question to you guys. Uh, of course, not your dad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> He's like a dad. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a dad to me. I'm really close with her, so I'm always over there, and it's just really nice having a bond with my coach. What do you think? Same. <laughs> All right. And, uh, you know, it was chill coffee tonight. They're a good team. You know, it's kind of hard to keep pace with a team like that, but of course, you got another tough team ahead in uh, Maryville. Kind of what's the mindset right now? Yeah, uh, we played really well tonight in the first half. We had to cut to six late in the second quarter, and they had a couple threes at the end to kind of extend it out. But, uh, I thought we did a great job, and these girls did good. And, uh, Addie played some tough defense. She got a couple of fouls called on her, which were whatever, but she was playing tough, which is what we were trying to get, get them to do. And, and she did it. And Addie knocked down the big three. Oh, yeah. the first one of your yes! <laughs> and then uh, Claire had a bunch of rebounds and played good defense. So. Uh, it was a good night for them, and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll remember it. I was about saying, uh, you three, you know, it was uh, it was your last night, and under this roof, of course, you got a few more games left, hopefully. Uh, but what was it like? Just uh, you know, you've been kind of a, a crew yourself, to, uh, you know, your entire way up. What's that like? Uh, just kind of wrapping it up tonight. I think it's like really sad because we've all really had a close connection since like eighth grade, and Addie moved here. And I think you really enjoy that every moment, and just trying to not let it go away. Last two, last two and a half months. So yeah, same for me. 
and uh, you know it, it's a it's gonna be a tough game uh, you know you guys got a lot of time to prepare for this Maryville might be looking ahead uh, you know because it, it seems like a trap game if you could save one but uh, how do you feel heading into this uh, district playoff uh, I think it'll be an interesting game I mean, we played them twice they guys pretty good both times but uh, we know we can do some things different hopefully figure some things out and make it a close game and you know, if it's close at the end, the ones who get nervous, not us. So Absolutely. That, that's the goal of that, of that game. And what do you guys think? Of course, you know, in, in any sport, whether it's basketball, softball, chess, I mean, beat a guy once, yeah. Beat him twice, sure. Three times, it's not so easy. I mean, the odds just, that's just how odds work. Uh, how do you feel heading into this big match? I think after tonight, like seeing how we played against Joe Cotte, we were honestly feel pretty confident going to Maryville, knowing we can at least compete with them and give them a good fight. But also knowing we play Maryville a lot and all the play, so we have different rivalry, rivalry there and ready, ready to go against them. What do you guys think? Just go to work and practice. Yeah. <laughs> Then, uh, no, that's about all I got. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank is there anything? You. Hold on. Is there anything you'd like to add? Anything at all? I just want to thank all the ex players who came out uh, tonight, boys and girls. Uh, that was really kind of them, and they didn't have to do that, but uh, it, means, it means a lot. Absolutely. Well, no, that's it. <laughs> appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.